stay hydrated. <sighs> Easier said than done, I know. Being dehydrated is one of the number one reasons people go back to the hospital after surgery. So it is imperative we, because I'm going through recovery myself, drink as much liquids as we can. <clears throat> We're already going into surgery super dry because we can't drink anything after 11 p.m. Or at least that was my situation. So I looked up some tips to see if you're getting too dehydrated. Um, I was very scared. Well, I am very scared of going back to the doctors for being hydrated. I, I completely hated my experience getting an IV. Um, and long story short, I don't want to go through that again. So this is what I learned. Check your urine, okay? If it's too dark, you're on that edge. Do not wait until you feel weak and uh, you just don't have any energy. Sometimes you feel a little nauseous because those are all signs of not having enough water in your system. The first couple days, um, full disclosure, my urine was very dark and I know uh, it was gonna be that way being that I started taking vitamins and I'm taking pain meds, but you do not want it to stay that way. So, tips and tricks to drink the water you need. Of course, I try to carry around a big thing of water as if I'm gonna get through it all. Um, but it gives me motivation and I can keep track of how much water I'm getting in. If you're fresh out of recovery and you can get two cups of water in, you're doing well. But you don't want to stay at that same two. We're trying to get our urine as clear as possible. So, I love me a good big water. Also, a little tin, a little cute bottle. This really helps too. Um, some people are not going to be able to drink cold water after rec recovery, but well, during recovery, but I feel like it really helped me for some reason. Um, I was able to get in a lot more, but I'm also weak and I can't keep getting out of bed besides, you know, doing walks and taking my steps. First three days, I'm just trying to lay down. I'm trying to roll over, take my pills, my pain meds, drink some water. <laughs> I'm not getting in jello at that point. Uh, maybe some inshore and that's it this baby helps me because it keeps the water really really cold um i feel like this took me three days to finish my first three days of recovery but it helps and it keeps water hot too so if you feel like you need a little warmth to especially with the throat pain that you might experience this is the one another tip this bad boy right here. Premier Protein Clear. Get in that. This has 20 grams of protein. Sometimes, I don't know why, I just felt like I got to a point where everything was disgusting, even cold water, and I just needed something with some taste. Uh, the milk and the protein was making me nauseous, still making me nauseous, but this is delicious. It's fruit punch flavor. I haven't tried any of the other flavors yet, but it has 20 grams of protein, which we know it's really, really important to get our protein in from a class, from YouTube videos, and everything that the doctor shows. So this is great. Sips, take little sips. Eventually I could get like a cup of this in and um, some of my cold water in. And I was on the right path. I'm like, at this point, I'm like medium of where I need to go as far as my urine. Also, don't dish a classic, okay? Ice cubes. These were my saving grace thanks to my nurse, Robin Hill. Hey, girl. And she's my mama. But ice cubes really, really helped me. One, because cold water like I said, in the bottle, but also I just sucked on it. It was great. Your mouth is really dry 
when you're going through recovery because you're not getting in enough water. But this, if I'm going anywhere, if I'm going for a walk, if I'm just laying in bed, I just suck on ice. Eventually it melts. Where does it go? Through my body. So, don't sleep on the ice. This was the best. And I wasn't going to do it at first. I can put it, it's my glass, so relax. Um, I wasn't big on ice, but my mom really made me take ice everywhere. And I thank her for it because it got me to the point that I needed to be. Thank you. I was able to keep on getting in the liquids. Uh, also, another trick which I'm going to talk about in another video. Put this in ice tray. It's a popsicle. The sugar-free popsicles aren't helping us at all. It tastes good. Mm. And it's helping us get in liquids. But this, if you put it in an ice cube tray, you're getting in your liquids and your protein. Win-win. All right. That's my tip. Stay hydrated. Check your urine. The darker it is, the more dangerous. If you don't see any changes, you need to switch up what you're doing. And I know that is hard, but just sip. A lot of people use the baby sippy cups. I didn't get to that stage just because I didn't buy one. Um, but it's a great idea. A little bit at a time. We, we already can't keep too much into our new bellies. But man, oh man, hydrate it. Now, when I see how much I can drink, I'm like, I did that. I did that. I, I drank a bottle of water. Not in one sitting, but I got it down and I know I'm on my way to a speedy, safe recovery because of it. So drink your water. Thanks.